Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa if you're new here. Today is going to be Peak Week Vlog Part 2. So Wednesday and Thursday of Peak Week. Today is Wednesday, April 27th. We are three days out from my first ever show. I am so excited. Um, this morning I woke up, went to work at 4.30, got off, finished editing the last vlog, and made breakfast. My breakfast I did not show today just because I was so busy editing the other vlog, but it was the same thing as past weeks or past days. Um, two pieces of Ezekiel toast, two laughing cow cheese wedges, three servings of egg, and then I did put my salsa on top. But sadly, we are now cutting out most of our sodium. So I only got half a serving of salsa, and that means no sauces today, which sucks. <laughs> I love my G Hue sauces, and I am totally going to miss them with my chicken and potatoes, but. It's got to be done. So the water loading is over. We are back to only one gallon today, which is great. Um, the two gallons honestly wasn't that bad. So I think a gallon's going to feel like a piece of cake now. But I'm about to go work out. I'm talking really fast because my friend's picking me up and I'm kind of in a hurry. But I did kind of get ready for the gym today. I like curled my hair, put on a little bit of makeup because it's the last lift of prep. And that's so sad, but like so exciting. So... Yeah, and I love my outfit today. Wolf's crop, uh, Alpha Elite sports bra. You literally can't even see me. Um, amplify leggings, of course, and then white Nikes, as always. So that's the fit today. I'm so excited about it. But anyways, I am eating my pre-workout snack, two rice cakes with half a serving of peanut butter. Peanut butter is like my favorite thing right now. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's so good. This is like one of the highlights of my day besides my oats later. So <laughs> I'm going to eat this really quick and then I'm going to try and get some clips of the gym for you guys. But if it's packed, I probably won't. So we'll see. But since I'm with someone today, I'm going to try and record for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to eat this and then go to the gym. All right. So before I go to the gym, I'm trying a new pre-workout little combination today. So I wanted to show you guys. So I've got a little bit of ice in my Helimix. Gonna add my water. And then we're going in with Bucked Up Woke AF, the Swole Whip flavor. This one's my favorite. If you like pineapple and like pina colada things, you will love this because that's what I love and it's literally like a pina colada. And then I'm gonna mix it with my BCAs, which is the peach ring flavor because I feel like it just might be a magnificent combo. So we're gonna try it. And I'll do a little taste test for you. It's so loud with ice. Alrighty. That's really good. That's my new favorite combo. Oh my god. No. That's the pre-workout of the summer. That's so good. 10 out of 10. Try it. I just got back from the gym. Um, we were looking pretty good today. I have to say so myself. Shoulder striations were totally there. Um, I had Juliana film part of the lift for me, so I don't really know if you could tell in the video, but they were busted. So we're about to eat lunch. Green beans, potatoes, chicken. The normal, but today I get no sauce. So sad, but it's okay. I am so hungry right now that literally I would eat dirt. Like, I'm so hungry after that lift. So, I'm gonna eat and then I did not do cardio at the gym, so I'm gonna have to do that later. But yeah, I'm gonna eat really quick and I'll talk to you guys after. I don't remember the last time I talked to you, honestly. Maybe right after the gym. I don't know, but um, after my lift, I made lunch and then I went to the grocery store again 
this week again because I needed stuff for this weekend and just to finish up the week. So I went to the grocery store, came back here, knocked out cardio really quick at my apartment. I just did 30 minutes today, so not too bad. And yeah, I had two meals left today. So after cardio, I decided to split one of those meals in half just because I didn't want to eat that much right away. So right after cardio, I showered and then I had um, four ounces of chicken, half a serving of my potatoes, and that was it. And then for the other half of that meal, which I will be eating as dinner because it's only, it's 4.45 right now and I just finished eating the first half of that. So probably in like an hour, an hour and a half, I'll eat the other half, but that'll just be I think it was supposed to be six ounces of chicken total, so it might only be two ounces, which is nice because I'm tired of eating chicken. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. So I only have two ounces of chicken left, three ounces of asparagus, and then half a serving of potatoes for dinner. And then, like I said, my nightly oats, which I literally look forward to every day. I'm so excited. A few other prep updates, which I think I told you guys we're back down to a gallon of water today. We are minimizing our sodium, so the only um, sauce or like dressing or anything I've been able to use today was my salsa on my eggs this morning, and that was only half a serving, so that's been fun. <laughs> um, I'm definitely boring of all the bland flavors, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily get better from here for the next few days, so... I'm enjoying my flavors while I can. And then also this morning, Coach had me go pick up these water pills, caffeine-free water pills. I don't know, basically they um, keep you from bloating. Effective bloat reliever, yeah. So they just help you with bloating, make sure I'm not holding on to too much water. Um, so yeah only real big changes today were cutting out sodium back to one gallon of water and the water pills that i'm now taking twice a day so yeah i am exhausted but today was the last lift of prep which is crazy i feel like i need to take my hood off you can't even see my face but i literally i feel like i blinked and prep is like over i'm like what didn't we just start like, don't we still have, like, 12 weeks? No, you have three days. So, yeah. I mean, I'm doing great. I'm so excited. I feel like since tomorrow's Thursday, it's, like, I guess I could consider it the start to the weekend, you know? So, I don't know. I'm getting super excited. Also, I just got a text that I have a, a package in the lockers downstairs. And I think it's the cake I ordered for post-show, like my post-show treats. And I'm about to go down and get it because I can't stop thinking about it. But then like, I'm so scared to bring it up here. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to see it. I'm going to have to stare at it for three days and not eat it. We'll survive. I don't know if I should put it in the freezer. I already have my cookies in the freezer. I have to show you my one pound cookie because it's actually insane. I can't. I can't even, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go get this package because I'm really curious to see what this cake looks like and oh my God, it's gonna be so good. You guys, this cannot be real. They sent it in a huge box. I also got an Amazon package and I think it's a really cute pair of pants. So let's do an unboxing. Hopefully you can't see my address anywhere on this box. Something awesome for someone awesome. That's what it says when you open it. That's so cute. Oh my god. Wait, where's my address? So no one sees that. Oh, this is like a whole cooler. Like this is a, it's like insulated. Okay. Um, how to treat your treats. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's a little brochure. Can I like frame that? Like it's literally like laminated and so cute. Cookies, cakes, truffles, and gluten free. Stay fresh in the refrigerator for up to five days or in the freezer for up to two weeks. One hour prior to serving, remove your cake from the fridge. Okay, so that means I need to put it in the refrigerator or the freezer, one of the two. 
which is good to know because I probably wouldn't like it. Oh my god, there's ice packs in here and everything. Shut up. How am I not going to eat this? Like, how? Oh my god. Alright, so this is the cute ass packaging that's like insulated. And then this is like stuck. And I don't want to mess something up, but. Here's one. I think it's stuck to some tape. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god, did I do? Oh, okay, good. It's like sealed. Sweet. Okay, ice packs out. Alright, here comes the cake reveal. I feel like I have to take it out to put it in the fridge. You guys. Okay, so, background. My favorite dessert in the entire world is gooey butter cake, and no one seems to know what that is. Like here in Alabama, maybe, I don't, maybe it's just a Midwest thing, but I also love Milk Bar, the place that I ordered from. I don't know if you guys have tried any of their stuff, but they're literally called Milk Bar. They're so cute, and um, I buy their truffles and stuff at Target all the time, and they're like amazing. So I was looking on their website, and it said something about a famous Milk Bar pie, and I was like, hmm, what would that be? So I look at it, and it's basically a gooey butter cake just baked into a pie. Like what? A gooey butter cake made by Milk Bar? This is going to be so good. I'm literally so excited. I can't. It's actually stressing me out. How it's so cute too. Alright, here she is. She looks incredible. This is like OMG. Looking forward to it. I, I know I'm going to love it. Literally so excited. All right, so just kidding, there was no room in the fridge, so I popped it in the freezer. But I'm so excited, and then behind my berries, I've been trying to hide it, so I don't have to like, literally look at it every day. You can see this one pound cookie. It's literally like a brick. I could put a hole through a window with this. And then I got a little mini pack of cookies, and then I got like a normal sized one back there. I have a lot of people coming, so I wanted everybody to be able to like enjoy a post-show treat with me. So this is not obviously all for myself. And then one of these boxes I actually got for Coach just to like treat him when he's done. Because he's competing too. I don't know. I think I said that in like the first vlog of this series, like my prep series. But my coach and I are both competing in the same show, which is so exciting. So I got us little cookie boxes because I'm just so sweet like that. So, <laughs> anyways, that was like the highlight of my day. Um, I'm so excited to eat that cake. It will be recorded. Don't worry. You'll get you'll get the full review. But yeah, highly recommend Milk Bar. Um, I love their stuff. Like I said, they have like those little truffles at Target. They come in like a two pack. They're literally so good. You have to try them. I haven't tried their ice cream yet because they didn't sell it near me until I was already on prep, and I haven't been able to have ice cream. So. That's on the bucket list to try too, but I didn't want to like order ice cream. I feel like that's weird. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, but anyways, post-show treats, that's what we're looking at. Alrighty, now on to the Amazon package. Ooh, it is my cute pants. Okay, I hope they fit. If they don't, that really sucks, but I finally tried getting the like men's dickies pants that everybody's been wearing on tiktok Ooh, i don't know those are kind of small they're basically just like kind of cargoes but not really like they're just a straight leg pant and a lot of people like fold them over like that so you can see the dickies they're really cute really good quality low key um and then they have little pockets in the back i kind of want to try them on but like i'm not in the mood right now so We'll do that tomorrow, probably. <laughs> I just honestly feel like eating my oatmeal and going to bed, which I might end up doing here in a minute. All right, guys, we're about to eat dinner. I gotta weigh out my salsa. I do get another half serving with dinner, so that's awesome. So, 
For dinner, we get two ounces of chicken, three ounces of asparagus, and 37 grams of potatoes. Yum. This is actually, I'm starving right now, so I'm ready for this. Um, I've also decided after this, I'm probably gonna make my oats, like wait 30 minutes, make my oats, and then go to bed. It's literally 6.30. So basically what I'm saying, I'm going to bed at like 7 p.m. Maybe not 7, probably 8. By the time I eat my oats and everything. But like, I'm tired. I did not get a full night's sleep last night and then I had to be up at 4.30, well 4, for work. So I've had a long day. I don't even know how many hours it is, but I'm exhausted. I planned on taking a nap today and ran out of time. So, I'm like really extremely tired. <laughs> but I am going to eat this. I think I showed you guys in the last vlog how I made my oats, but I might like walk you through that too, just cause they're so good. And it would be a shame for you to not know how to make them. So, I'm gonna eat. I've been binge watching um, the new season of Selling Sunset, my favorite show, love that show, so I'll probably finish an episode while I eat this and then we'll make some oats and go to bed. officially two days out that's crazy I woke up to a new low this morning and I hope you can hear me I know there's like lots of weird sounds right now but I'm watching the sunrise I just finished my journaling it's a beautiful morning it's a little cold so I brought a blanket up here um, I'm actually like completely freezing but that's fine anyways um, I sent my check-ins to coach this morning Wade as you saw, a new low, which is so exciting. And today we are cutting water officially. So I've only got, he told me about two blender bottles, which I think he said 50 ounces. Around 50 ounces, two blender bottles is what he said. So that's all the water I get today. Um, he told me to go ahead and cut out yogurt today, but I did that yesterday just to be extra prepared. So, the only dairy we're eating is the tiny bit of Laughing Cow cheese I get. I do still get salsa on my eggs this morning, only half a serving. Um, I need to go take my water pill. And besides that, I think that's just about it. We don't have to lift today. He told me I can't lift, actually. Um, he said, if you want to just go move some things around, go for it. And I'm like, what? But he said, no lifting, just cardio. If you want to move some things around, you can, but that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go do cardio later. And then I really wanted to go get a body scan to see where I'm at because I haven't gotten one done since like the very, very beginning of prep. But I said, would that be a good or bad idea since I haven't had any water? Cause if you don't, if you're not hydrated, it's not gonna correctly tell you like your muscle mass and everything. And he said, body scan, I would say no for the mental aspect. And then he said, today's about mental clarity, you put in the work. So I think he's basically just saying like, that might honestly just mess with my brain more than not getting a body scan. But at the same time, I'm still really curious. So like, I might go do it. I don't know. I feel like I know I shouldn't because he's right. It's probably gonna definitely mess with my mental. But I'm just like so curious. It's, I mean, it's obviously got to be better than it was when I first started prep. So I don't know. I might do that. The only thing is they don't open till 10 and I have class from 930 to 1045. And I'm sorry, but I am not fasting until 11 a.m. because it's only seven and I'm starving. Like I need coffee and I need breakfast right now. 
so I think I don't know I also kind of want to just get my cardio like done and over with but at the same time I kind of want to do it tonight when I don't feel like I'm in a rush and everything because since I do have class I want to make breakfast I have a few things to like sit down and work on on my computer before I go so I don't know I might just go ahead and do that later tonight I mean it's not going to take me that long 30 minutes at most so it's not like it's a big hassle and I'm honestly thinking if I go do my cardio tonight and then have my oats left to eat that'll be like my motivation and I will be just zooming on that on that inclined walk I will be zooming through it to get to the oats so I think that's what I'm gonna do but anyways protocols are similar to yesterday just less water still on the water pills cutting out more dairy which like I said I did yesterday so super duper exciting oh my god two days I literally can't believe it some of my friends and family are arriving tomorrow and I am gonna do a whole separate vlog for show day so today on the agenda we need to get our nails done because I don't want orange nails for the show so we need to get our nails done um, today is the full body shave which I'm nervous for because I've never shaved my arms and I'm just not sure how that's gonna go so We'll see um <laughs> but i've also i have not been using deodorant the past few days because apparently it can mess up like your tan and make your armpits green so i'm not doing that haven't been using lotion i've been exfoliating in the shower like all week the body wash i use is an ex exfoliant so i've honestly been using that for like three weeks so i think i'm fully exfoliated all the self tanner is finally gone i feel so pale but yeah so oh and i need to whiten my teeth today too i'm gonna do that today tomorrow and then probably saturday morning so we've got a few things to get done today also um great news came through my phone last night so when i originally signed up for or like registered to get my hair makeup and tanning done the only time to get my makeup done available was at 4 30 in the morning and i was like okay i mean i guess i can but like that's really early and then they suggest that you get your second coat of tan before your hair and makeup, obviously, like that just makes the most sense, but that wasn't an option when I registered. So I was kind of freaking out, but I got a text yesterday from them, from the tanning company, and where is it? Oh my God, I can't leave this, this text. Okay, so Friday I'll have my first layer of tan, 5.30 p.m., and then Saturday morning, second layer of tan is at 5.40, makeup is at 615 and hair is at 645 so we should be all glammed up by like 7 30 8 a.m and that is so exciting and now i don't have to get up at four so i am just stoked about that but anyways today's gonna be a great day i just watched the sunrise and it just put me in such a good mood so i'm gonna go make some breakfast and get some coffee in me because i am starving so let's go Alrighty, here's the infamous Peak Week breakfast with half the amount of salsa. Yum, I'm so hungry and so ready to eat. I'm also gonna go ahead and take this right before I eat real quick. These pills are like kind of big. Oh, and there's no water. Alright, well, I'm gonna get water and take the water pill. Alright guys, we made it to the nail salon. Um, I'm gonna get my toes done too because they just need to be done and this is the time to get them done. So, uh, this is the before. They're just orange, kind of a peachy color. Um, I'll show you, I think, what I know I'm gonna ask for. I think this is what I want, but this isn't known to be the best nail salon and I made my appointment last minute, so <laughs> we're gonna hope for the best. Um, when I made the appointment, he was like, do you want to schedule with anyone specific? And I was like, I need the best person you got. These nails are very important. So hopefully I got my point across and I'm hoping for the best, but that's what I'm going to do for nails. And then toes, I feel like I'm just going to do like a white pedicure, I think. Just something very basic, but I don't want to do clear because of the tan, but then I'm like, wait, if I get white, is that just as bad? Like, is the tan going to look just as bad on that? I don't know. So, anyways, trying to figure that out, but my appointment's in five minutes, so I'm going to figure that out and then go <laughs> get them done. Nails and toes have been done. I was in there for two and a half hours, 
and the girl who did I'm I I don't want to complain I hate complaining they don't look terrible they obviously don't look as good as I wanted them to but they don't look terrible they look pretty good at least on video but anyways the girl literally like mid doing my nails was like oh hold on I gotta call my boyfriend to show him something so he FaceTimes her, she picks up the phone, starts hooping and hollering and runs to the back and she's like, one second. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm getting my nails done. You're just gonna leave me here to go FaceTime your boyfriend? Anyways, uh, she was really sweet. So, I mean, at least she was nice. But anyways, I got my toes and nails done. They look pretty good. I actually really like them. They're just plain and simple. So, that's done. I am now starving. I did not think I'd be there that long, but I have to run by the post office before I go home to ship a few packages, and then I'm gonna go home and eat some lunch because I am starving. <laughs> All right, guys, it is now 3.30 p.m. I am about to go to cardio, but I'm eating a snack first because I'm starving. Honestly, the not drinking water has been harder than like the two gallons of water because I feel like my stomach's just so empty and it's a lot harder to like replace my hunger by drinking water because I can't. <laughs> so that's been a little hard. I do not feel like going to do cardio, but got to get it knocked out. It's nothing high intensity, probably just 30 minutes of like slight incline walk. So it's nothing like super hard. We don't want to like stress out the muscles, but I have to go get that done. So we're gonna do that. I also realized I haven't even thought about packing and we leave tomorrow. So I need to pack, edit this vlog, meal prep my food, shave my body, whiten my teeth. I have a lot to do today, <laughs> still. So we're gonna try and like knock all this stuff out and then get a good night's rest. finished cardio the work is like officially it's been put in it's done now I just have to wait and see what happens I have no more cardio to do tomorrow I have no more lifting I have nothing the work is done I decided since I've got a like full shower I'm not gonna wash my hair until probably Saturday morning before I get hair done or they might wash it for me. I don't really know. I doubt they do, but I'm probably gonna wash it that morning so it's like freshly clean. Um, but I need to full body shave <laughs> and I'm not supposed to put lotion on, I believe. I need to like do a little research, look over the company that's like doing the tanning, look at their website and like make sure I'm doing everything right. But I figured I kind of just wanted to do like a little treat myself moment. So I think we're gonna like maybe put on a face mask maybe ice roll my face I don't really know we'll see I might give up on this too hello it is now 7 30 p.m. and I just meal prepped a whole bunch of chicken and a whole bunch of sweet potatoes for tomorrow and then tomorrow morning I'm still gonna have to make some eggs and maybe a little more chicken but my other pack of chicken was frozen so I'm gonna let it dethaw um, but I packed I've got all my dry food right here and then I've got a bag for all my stuff. This is my show day bag with like my bikini and heels and everything in it. This is a birthday gift for my mom. <laughs> uh, my backpack just in case I need my, like, my laptop and stuff because I have finals next week. So just in case I need it, I don't know. I'd feel comfortable having it with me. And then that's an outfit for brunch on Sunday. I've got my scale sitting out so I remember to bring it tomorrow morning. And then over here, this is literally a bag of sweatshirts that don't fit in my closet. So I'm giving them to my mom to take home. And then I kept this cooler from Melf because I feel like I can put ice packs in it and then put the pie back in there with my cookies too. Like I felt like that was kind of smart, like just put it back in there because it's insulated. So like if I put ice packs and ice in it, it'll be good. So I've had a productive last few hours and I just found out one of my friends that I thought was gonna be here tomorrow is coming tonight. They're gonna get here early. She drove with her dad, so they'll be here 
kind of late at like 11. I low key might have to like take a nap and then wake back up. I don't know. I still have my oats to eat tonight, so I'm trying to like push it off as much as I can because I'm so like, oh, it's the last meal. <laughs> but anyway, so everything's packed up. I'm feeling good. I full body shaved. That was an experience. It took forever. It was interesting. So I feel like very smooth, if you will. <laughs> but anyways, I'm so excited. Everything's happening and I can't wait for Carly to be here. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. Alright guys, good morning. It is Friday, April 29th. Um, I never got to finish my little self-care routine last night and I still need to do it so I'm going to do it really quick and then end off this vlog and then we'll start the new show day vlog after this. So, by the way, this is Carly. <laughs> she came last night. I was asleep. Yeah. It's fine. She made it. She made it. Alright, Carly's doing it with me, so I'm demonstrating on her, mm -hmm. and then I'll do me. <laughs> Alright, we're starting with oil. I always use Sunday Riley just because I love this stuff, but... Alright, put your head back. <laughs> rub it in. I don't want to, like, rub your face. <laughs> okay. Right. You want... Okay. Mm, it smells good, though. It's like vitamin C. Feels good. How often do you do this? Like once every two weeks, probably. Just when I notice it's getting long again. You know, I still have that Dollar Tree razor you gave me. <laughs> it's like rusted. <laughs> okay, I finished Carly's facial. I'm doing mine now. Dermaplaning. It's time to gua sha. Sculpt this jaw a little bit, if you will. So we're looking extra busted on stage. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate the feeling of oil in my face, but I love it. I hate it. It's like, I just feel Where like... Where is the um, thing? Gua sha? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this here little baggie. You will you hand like me another paper that. towel? <laughs> you just like saying that. Gua sha? <laughs> Metal gua sha, I honestly have no idea how to use this. I've just tried copying what I see on TikTok, so. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, I read it or I saw it in like one TikTok video. The lady was like, it's basically just like massaging your back. Like if you go up like this and you feel like a tough spot, she was like, just like work it out like a knot. <laughs> it low key feels really good. But like my chin is like crunchy. <laughs> You can feel Why? it. I don't know. I don't know if it's from like, it's just like skin cartilage. I don't know. All right, guys, I washed my face after the gua sha. Now we're gonna put on a little bit of Grande Lash. Because this stuff seriously works and if you're not using it, you're missing out. And then for the best part, face roll. Hoping it de-puffs me a little. Although I'm like really not puffy because I have no sodium or anything in me. Oh wow. Feels like it's not fully frozen, but. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but like imagine if it was freezing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's not that cold. No. Is it a lot? Yeah, I try and use it every morning. Oh, okay. And I feel like it's not as much of a hassle as like the gua sha because you don't have to do the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Quit. <laughs> Gua sha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end of to today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the show day vlog.